Hello everybody, Interinteri back again with another video that one of my subscribers has asked me and requested me to do. To be quite honest guys, I, I didn't have planned to do a video about this match because I'm very, very very busy at the moment. I'm at work actually, but I cannot uh, deny my dear dear friend uh, Gold Wolf, shout out to him. And I'm gonna do a video in this short time that I have on, on, on the work about this upcoming match about this final that is that we have in front of us um, in Acapulco between two young guns and two sup, uh, future stars if not they are stars already at least Alexander Zverev is according to me but uh, Nick Kyrgios is a star he, 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 he too in my opinion not a, a big star like Alexander Zverev but he is for sure uh, a star as well I'm talking about the Acapulco final between um, Alexander Zverev and Nick Kyrgios and a preview about that final what I believe and wh what what I believe about that final and who will win and and why and so on. I had uh, write about the first final earlier today between uh, Roger Federer and, and uh, Stefano Tsitsipas and I even had write about the score I said the straight uh, uh, straight sets victory for Roger Federer and it it exactly what what that become. Let's see if I will be right in this one. I think this one is a harder one to predict. Not that the Federer and Tsitsipas match was easy to predict by any means, but this one is definitely much, much harder, guys. You could just look at the head-to-head -head to, in the first place to start with. It's 3-3 between these two. So it's you can already see there that this match is a toss-up, guys. It really is a toss-up. So, uh, but the last two matches that they have faced each other, Alexander Zverev have been victorious. Last time they faced each other, it was in 2018. I believe one uh, one match was... Uh, they have faced each other six times, it's 3-3, but I mean, la latest time that they have faced each other was in 2018. And one match was, I think, in Davis Cup or something like that. Or uh, at least uh, Alexander Zverev, he prevailed in straight sets. And then one other match was in Miami. He as well there prevailed in straight sets in Miami. I believe it, the, the outcome was 6-4, 6-4, something like that. So the latest two matches they have faced each other, Alexander, Alexander Zverev has been victorious over Nick Kyrgios. But all in all, the head-to-head -head is 3-3. So this can go either way, of course, guys. It's really, it's really a toss-up. So either of both of these guys can win. The the player who who will be best best on the day will win this match. Uh, so what can we say about these two about these two superstars? Alexander Zverev, we all know he's world number three. He has won a couple of Masters. He has won the Otapir Tool Finals. He won that last year where he defeated both Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic on his way. So that was a huge achievement. His biggest title so far. Alexander Zverev, Alexander Zverev has the big, bigger repertoire, in my opinion, than Nick Kyrgios. Not that Nick Kyrgios has not any repertoire, because he has, he has that too, of course. But in my opinion, Alexander Zverev has a bigger one, bigger repertoire. He pretty much has everything, Alexander Zverev, to be quite honest with you guys. He pretty much has everything. He has the serve, he has the backhand. Ba the backhand is one of the greatest shots in the world, in my opinion. His returns, they are solid. They are not great, but they are solid. Uh, is it something that I don't... I think that Alexander Zverev has a weakness. He... He, he definitely has a weakness that is if I want if I am forced to specific one thing that he has a weakness it is his movement he is not a great mover he he moves great still to be quite a tall guy but if you can play drop shots and play deep and play with pace you can really you can really bother him because he he isn't the most fastest guy on the tour without being slow by any mean but he's not the greatest mover so if i was forced to say any weakness in his game is his it is his movement 
But other than that, he really is really, really solid, guys. He he's a great ball striker. He really makes a lot of balls on the court. He is not. He isn't the. He he isn't that guy that makes a ton of ton unforced errors. So I think Alexander Zverev is definitely a future world number one and a future Grand Slam winner together with Stefanos Tsitsipas. Alexander Zverev together with, Stef with Stefanos Tsitsipas is the bright tennis stars, is the future tennis stars, is the future Grand Slam winners, I believe. At least when Novak Djokovic and Rafa Nadal will be become older and slower, they these two guys I think will be the 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 main guys that will dominate this sport. I think when Rafa Nadal, Novak Djokovic has been become older and when they have re, uh, retired, I think Alexander Zverev and uh, uh, Stefano Tsitsipas is the one is the is the is the players to take over the scene. So Alexander Zverev, Alexander Zverev is really a great great player. And what to say about Nick Kyrgios? He is too a great, great player, but he, his repertoire, like I said, is not as big as uh, as uh, Alexander Zverev, in my opinion. His biggest, biggest weapon, we all know what it is. At least we who, who watch tennis, it is his serve. His serve is really, really scary. It is a nightmare. He can go, he can go, or play a match two, three hours without be, being break. He can be unbreakable for two, three hours. He can be a nightmare to face. He is a John Isner type of player, but with a bigger repertoire in the in the overall game. John Isner serves maybe better than Nick Kyrgios, but John Isner is not better than Nick Kyrgios in the repertoire in the in the whole whole game in in outside the serve. I mean, so Nick Kyrgios' biggest weapon is the serve, of course. He is more or less unbreakable many times in his matches, and that's why many of his matches goes to tiebreak. So it it will not be easy for Alexander Alexander Zverev to win this final, absolutely not. And both of these guys can beat each other. We we have we all seen that in the head to head three three. Nick Kyrgios is at the moment seventy two in the ranking, I believe, and Alexander Zverev is number three in the world. But this this will not matter in the final, guys. This is the first final that they have faced that that they are facing each other. All the other matches has been fourth round or second round or third round or uh, things like that. But this is the first time that they are facing each other in a final. And Nick Kyrgios' biggest chance will be to serve great, because from the baseline, in my opinion, Alexander Alexander Zverev is a better player. With with the ground strokes, I think Alexander Zverev has have better uh, better wings on both sides. He has better forehand and he has better backhand, especially better backhand. I think forehand it it is similar because Nick Kyrgios has a really 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 great forehand. After his after the the serve, Nick Kyrgios' greatest weapon is the forehand. The forehand may be similar great to, to, against each other, uh, but. When it comes to the backhand, Alexander Zverev has a much better backhand than Nick Kyrgios. Uh, but Nick Kyrgios can definitely win this match. I will not be surprised if he wins it. But my pick will be that Alexander Zverev will win this final. That is my pick. I am not sure in, in this prediction. Absolutely not. But I think in the end, as, mo as, as long as the match goes, I think that Alexander Zverev will, will be the most solid one. Will be the most the the player who will be, who will make less unforced errors. And I think in the end that will be the key for Alexander Zverev to win the match. Uh, Nick Kyrgios' greatest chance is if he takes the the matches to to tie breaks, and and then in the tie breaks. Everything can happen. Maybe even Nick Kyrgios has an edge in the tiebreak because he has a better serve than Alexander Zverev. But my feeling is that the ground strokes, the baseline duels, will be Alexander Zverev will win most of them, and in that way he will win more points than Nick Kyrgios, and in that way he also will win the match. I think so. That's my feeling. So I I predict. Uh, of a victory for Alexander Zverev in this Acapulco final. Will this be a straight sets victory for Alexander Zverev, or, or will or will or, or will Nick take one set at least? 
Oh, this is impossible to say. Of course, Nick can take one set. He can even win the match. It, it will not be a surprise if he did that. But my feeling is that Alexander Zverev will win this in straights. That's my feeling. I don't know. My my feeling is telling me that mm, Alexander Zverev will be too solid. He will be too strong. He will be too too strong from the baseline. Too solid. Too solid from from the from, from with his ground strokes, and he will do. Too little Amphosteros for Nick Kyrgios to handle. So I think Alexander Zverev will take this in straight sets. Actually, that's my that's my belief, but I'm far from sure. I'm really not sure at all. But my feeling is that Alexander Zverev will win this one in straight sets, guys, and will win this Acapulco title against Nick Kyrgios. All right, guys, that was my take on about this Acapulco final that we, are, that we have in front of us. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care and see you next time. Bye-bye.